Hello, folks. I am back. Um, hoping you guys are having a very good, a very good Wednesday. Um, we're back for some to finish this game. Um, which will be interesting. I'll see. Well, I'll say I should. It's like I don't know. This game has been one of the more dull GBA games that of Harry Potter at the moment. Um, with you know, oh, actually, I'll just pop the music back on just for a bit. But yeah, just to have played it and be like, oh, there's just obvious stealth sections and mechanics in the game from the get-go and uh, don't know about you but Harry Potter don't remember it being a stealth game or a series should we say uh, but yeah having some of that I'm not really sure to be honest it's like it's a stealth it's stealth sections and apparently the AI have a potent like a potency to just see out the back of their head half the time, so you're like, oh, interesting move, sir. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna gonna get back into this. Get hear the beautiful eight bit music, which I think wasn't was designed for a Game Boy Color, and then they were like, oh shit, the new generation of Game Boys coming out, and then they were like, it's fine, it will sound great. Um, and then I think back and I'm like. Huh, the uh, the Pokemon music for GBA was actually pretty decent, pretty uh, pretty f phenomenal. But we'll see. Um, one sec, guys. Let me get into the game. You guys should hear that now. Bump it up one. I want it blowing out anyone's ears, being like, oh my god. Yeah, this music is kind of very iconic. Anyway, uh, let's see if... Hey, you want to work today? Excellent. Good job. Anyway, so we got to the bit where um, we found out Hagrid was behind the killings. Not surprising, because it's very creepy and probably has the potential to kill anyway. Um, I mean, left to his own devices. Um, so yeah, we have that. Um, and obviously he should not be near children, that's for sure. Especially when he's like, I need to show you something, Harry, in my hut. And you're like, okay, Hagrid, you need to be on a watch list. Um, but yeah, we found it out by not doing very much, but talking to the Riddle Diary, which looked, I don't know what it is with the typography in this game, which looked like the T was an I, so it was Ion Riddle, or Ion even Fiddle, because the R didn't look quite right either. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that most of the G's in the game, in the text, is not nice to look at as well. Um, but anyway, we're off to go find Hagrid. These terrifying portraits. Uh, but I believe he's outside. Somewhere. In his house, probably. Um, yes, we have this mission. And then we obviously have the side mission to find all a hundred beans in the castle. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Preemptive shooting there. Um, this sounds like more like Metroid. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. We're just putting the cutscene. Um, I wonder what this key opens. I mean, I just saw, like, Dumbledore and Hagrid just sort of walking off into the distance, you know, beautiful sunset, everything's set, and then they dropped their, I don't know, the sex dungeon key? I'm not really sure. Oh, no. No, 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 we don't want any of that. 
I suppose I should follow them. No, Harry, it's okay. We're all arachnophobics here, so we don't want to go in there. Also, this reminds me of freaking point-and-click adventure. It's just like, now nah, you're just in a, in a freaking image. Find all the things you can. I wonder if there's any beans in here. Yeah, search his bed. Harry, that's it. Where's Fang? Fang the non-existent dog, apparently. Oh my god, amazing music. Oh, here we- oh. I just am very uncomfortable right now. Uh, oh, miles away! You just see them going through the void. We will find the spiders. Okay. Excellent cutscene, guys. Um. Oh my god, fuck! God damn it! I was not paying attention. I need to switch back to my actual damage spell. Oh, the aiming. Oh, yes, I remember what this was like yesterday. Oh. Guys, I'm a McCree main normally. And hit shit. Okay, well. Spider is made of money. Okay. It was actually pretty terrifying animation for uh, for a spider. Like the way it moves is so realistic. Oh come on. Gotta get it from range. And you can't like hit it if it's doing an animation. Like that apparently. Yeah. Give me that cauldron cake. Hell yeah. Checking there's nothing else. No bushes to rustle. Harry likes to rustle those bushes. Aragog's lair. Oh my god, nope! No, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Who is this? A man? Is it Hagrid? No. This is a stranger. Get rid of him. I was sleeping. I'm a friend of Hagrid's! God, this is like a fucking nightmare fuel here. Why are they using the battle music from the first game? I just realized. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. Hagrid's in trouble, that's why I've come! In trouble? But why has he sent you, you pathetic human? destroy you with my weird tendril things. Apparently only two of them work though. Um, I think up at the at the school that Hagrid's been setting a, a something on the students. They've taken him to Azkaban. But that was years ago. That's why I, that's why they made him leave the school. They believe that I was the monster that dwells what call what you call the Chamber of Secrets. They thought that Hagrid had opened the chamber and set me free. And you didn't come from the Chamber of Secrets? I was born in the castle. I come from a distant land. I believe they're actually like desert dwellers. I believe I read somewhere that I think they may come from the desert. For some reason. But I'm not sure. You can don't quote me on it. Not knowing my Aragog spider lore is not my, uh, well, not something that I, uh, hold dear to my ego, that's for sure, so. Um, cold bullshit, because I think it is. Um, Hagrid had me when I was only an egg. He cared for me, fed table scraps, fed me table scraps. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, Hagrid is a good friend and a good man. When discovered and blamed for the death of a girl, he protected me, and I have lived here in the forest ever since. So you never... Never? <laughs> I like Harry's like, so you never, never want to do it? Uh, like, you never, never attacked anyone? Out of respect for Hagrid, I never harmed a human. And the only part of the castle I ever saw was the cupboard in which I grew up. 
And the girl who was killed was discovered in a bathroom. But then do you know what did kill the girl? Uh, because whatever it is, it's back and attacking people again. A thing that lived in the castle is the ancient creature, creature we spiders fear above all others. We do not speak of it. Well, I just- I'll just go then. <laughs> go? I think not. I've got my weird tendril action smacking you in the back of the head, boy. I cannot deny my children fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into my- into our bits. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, here comes the car! Right on cue, it just sort of rocked up there. Oh, excellent. Oh, I would have lasted much longer if you hadn't- Wait, you- Wait, Ron was there? I think Ron didn't know we were out there, but okay. If you hadn't turned out with the car, thanks Ron. Wow, that's the first Ron actually doing something. You did, uh, you do the, you do the same for me. Oh, it's, it looks like an O, like the A there looks like an O. You do the sum for me. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's me or I'm just seeing O's where the A is. I, I don't know. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Your, uh, your truck's been ransacked. It's you. I see them as O's. That A is not very clear. The lowercase A is very not clear. <laughs> um, I don't know anything's missing. If anything's, and it's a bit of a mess up there. Better go. You better 90 check it out. How are you? Are you going to defend their G's? Zeev? Because their G's look like 9's. Oops. Ah, it's the, the age old trouble, Harry. It's okay. Many men have the same issue. It's fine. Alright, off we go. Yes, it's a real mess up here. Looks identical to when I left it. Oh, well, I've definitely been looking for something. Oh no, Riddle's diary's gone. Uh, you, I'd better go and tell Ron and Hermione in the common room. I'm so glad. Off we go. Da, da. Yeah, he's got nothing to give me. Sometimes I hit the poster. Okay, you can't interact with that. How do you get in there? Is there a way of getting in there? Huh. Alright. Oh, Hermione's here. Ron's not here. Oh, what? But only a Gryffindor could have stuck- what? I feel like we've come into the conversation like midway and she's just here being like, what is it, Harry? Like, I can't deal with this right now. I'm curling my hair. Um, but only Gryffindor could have stolen. Only, uh, sorry, I've dropped the voice there for a second. But only a Gryffindor could have stolen. <clears throat> no one else knows our password. Oh, here comes Ron. Oh, uh, I. What happened, Ron, you idiot? Did you walk into a wall again? Ginny's. Ginny's disappeared. Profe uh, Professor McGonagall said a student's been taken. In oh my god. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so we're gonna just skip ahead, are we? Like, are we gonna just m miss a section out where Hermione gets petrified and stuff actually happens and then you work out that it's a basilisk right as this happens i mean they're pretty useless anyway so it 
it's like they've been petrified the entire game and Harry's had to do all the work. Anyway. Taken to the chamber itself. What are we going to do? Wait here, I've had an idea. I'm gonna go get myself petrified. I feel like it's gonna be great for my skin. All right. And then we just back up here. Why? Why? Why didn't we go with Hermione and just get ourselves petrified? Come on, game. <laughs> they were like, oh shit, we've done the story out of order. Okay. Alright, Ron, what's going on? Hello, Harry. Uh, I don't know where Hermione is today. Meet you down in the second floor and we'll see if she's in the Moaning Myrtle bathroom. Oh my god, is she actually going to be down there? She's just going to be petrified on the floor. Uh, th this is like, not sure what it's doing in terms of design and story and plot. Not even design, sorry. This is just plot issues. Yep, I'm going to do this. Oh man. Hello. You shouldn't wander around the school at night. It's daylight! Do you see this light coming through the window? Hello? <laughs> McGonagall, are you blind? Uh. I'm having an argument with Namiel. Oh no. God, yeah. Um. But it's for it's fortunate I've bumped into you bumped bumped into me. I think you better go to the hospital, Wang. There's been another attack. It's Hermione. Oh no! Where's the hospital, Wang? Fuck! I think it's on the fourth floor. I could be. You will defend the G's. Oh my god! Din subscribing. Thank you, Din. Thank you for the three months. Bean boys back! Yeah, you get the nice stripey bean now. It's your three months then. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I wonder if she saw the attacker. Hey, look at her right hand. How can you see that under the covers unless you were looking, Ron? Ron? Yeah. Yeah, the three months one is the stripey one. Yeah, pog chap. Pog chap? What is it? Ron, who was perving on Hermione while I wasn't here. I don't know, it looks like a piece of paper. It's a page torn from a book of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land. There are none more deadly than the basilisk. Oh no, the art is actually far beyond the Game Boy Color. No, this is this is an improvement for sure. Um, it's not bad. Um. Known as the King of Serpents. Its methods of killing are most uh, wondrous. Okay. For aside, it's from its venomous fangs. Oh, by the way, Din, you just missed the spider area, by the way. I think you're happy about not seeing that, because that was terrifying. Um, yeah, because that was terrifying art, actually. Yeah, it's, it is pretty nice, actually, and I think it only gets better from here. Yeah, <laughs> Zeev was like, I was, so, Zeev, you did see him. So you did see Aragog and his, like, waving tendrils, and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the previous one we've done. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I quite liked the Game Boy Color graphics, just because it was, like, quite nice in terms of like its retro look was pretty good for its time I thought um 
I literally jumped because it like, so you went through um, uh, an area and then you went through a doorway basically and you're just in Aragog's lair and it immediately pulled you right to him and he's like waving, yeah, just a nope session. <laughs> it was just a nope, excuse me, a nope session. It was horrible. Anyway. Uh, the basilisk has a murderous stare and all who are fixed with the beam of its eyes shall suffer instant death. Not not sort of semi-death or a sort of delayed death, just instant death. It's like you put, mix it with a little bit of hot water and then you get instant death. Um, for the basilisk, for uh, it is their mortal enemy. The spiders flee from it, sorry. Spiders don't like it because it's their mortal enemy. Miney's written the word pipes. Pipes at the bottom and that's it, Ron. The monster is a basilisk, a giant snake. That's why I've been hearing voices. You heard it once and it never came up again. Not consistent. <laughs> I understand. Um, I understand parcel tongue. Uh, no one's looked directly at it, so that's why no one's died. They've only been petrified. You haven't explained that all of them saw it, like, saw it through water or a reflection. No one has mentioned the fact there was water or a mirror or through Nearly Headless Nick, who also wasn't there, but I'm gonna have a little bit of a rant because they're being like, oh yeah, by the way, they none of them saw them saw it really they all saw a, re a reflection so i'm slightly being like mm, this game just sort of filling in blanks that apparently people were like well that's going to be a plot hole oh wait no we can just say this and it's like yeah but you didn't say that originally so inconsistency <laughs> anyway sorry uh, how's a flipping great snake been getting around the place? Pipes, Ron, it's been using the plumbing. You idiot. I knew that, obviously. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it was a bathroom? Moaning Myrtle's bathroom, let's go. Let's go, me starts moving, Ron stands still. Yep, sounds about right. Oh dear. Well, Harry's gonna do everything again. I wonder if it's gonna be a whack-a-mole boss fight. Um, because it was a whack-a-mole boss fight in the PC version. I'm just wondering how they're gonna do it in this one. <laughs>